is recession, there is the downturn, there is the weak economy, there is uh, you know, all kinds of problems in all kinds of places. The Lord himself is ready to repair, is ready to redeem, is ready to recover all. The scripture tells us that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The Lord created it and chose to share it with us. Join with me in prayer. Let's go before the Lord for the global economy and ask God to forgive the cause, to forgive and heal the land and uh, redeem and recover all to the praise of his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says in Haggai 2.8 that the silver is mine, the gold is mine. That's the Lord's uh, utterance. He owns everything. He created everything. But we want to pray that whatever has caused the downturn, the recession, the weak economy, that the Lord himself will recover all, will restore all in Jesus' name. Holy Father, we just thank you and we bless your name, O oh God. Father, our hearts are broken for all the suffering in many uh, places in the world. Many are starving, many are hungry because, O oh God, there is economy recession. Father, we're asking, oh God, in thy mercy, heal the land. Heal the land. And the obedience that you require of us in order to do that, oh Lord, we pray that, Father, oh God, you turn our hearts unto thee, that that obedience will flow in Jesus' name. Because you say in your word, in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Father, the, Lord, the sword is going through the land. We are asking, O oh God, would we'll draw the sword and heal the land. And let the people, O oh God, find resource. Let the people, O oh God, find substance. Let the people, O oh God, find, Father, a supply. In every nation of the world, care for your people, Lord. You made us in your image, Father. Do it, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We want to pray. For the global hardness of heart. All over the world, there's hardness of the human heart. And it is manifested in unrest. It is manifested in kidnappings in banditry, in marauders, and uh, all kinds of evil all across the place. You are the God of peace. Your name is Jehovah Shalom. We want to pray and ask the Lord to send peace uh, uh, to all the nations globally. Peace in all nations. And peace in every tribe, every sector of the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, we ask, O oh God, you are the God of peace. That's your name, O oh God. That you send your peace in every land, upon every nation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you and we bless your name, O oh God. Father, we just worship and adore you because you've answered that peace will, 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 will arrive in every land in Jesus' name. And we command in the name of the Lord that the, the banditry, the, uh, the, the hardness of heart will end it right now in Jesus' name. Father, we want to pray for global disasters. My brethren join me that to pray for global disaster that indeed this will end may the lord temporize his judgment and take away the disasters the pestilences and the plagues from the people you said in your word if i shut up heaven and there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Father, we turn unto you, O God. The only hope we have for a dying world. Father, we turn unto you, O God, and ask, O God, heal the land. Withdraw thy judgments. Withdraw the plagues. Withdraw the pandemics. Withdraw the disasters. Withdraw the, uh, the pestilences. And heal the land in Jesus' name. But can I hear a big amen over there? Amen. The Lord will heal the land. The Lord will take away the plagues. The Lord will do gloriously and wonderfully wonderfully in Jesus name there's also global wars wars 
that God did not command us to start. Many nations are at war and they must learn peace. Many nations are at war and we need to ask God that all the national budget that some nations they, cons they, they commit a significant portion of their GDP to making war weapons. Father, we want to ask that you turn the hearts of all nations from the leaders to the led that will begin to think of weapons of peace, weapons of health, weapons of deliverance and not weapons of war. And because Micah says in your word, and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and they shall uh, uh, and their uh, and their spears into pruning hooks nations shall not lift up a sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore and isaiah agrees with that in isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 father we are asking O god that indeed O lord nations will learn war no more father as much as the behavior of nations is gearing towards third world war father for our generation we cancel that third world war and we ask so god that your peace will land even in unpredictable places in jesus name father set forth oh god thy peace that instruments of war will be turned to, into instrument of producing food to feed the hungry in our world in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless your name, O oh God, because you have heard and answered, O oh God. And finally, my brethren, join with, with me. We want to pray for global preservation of all elects from all evil all over the world, regardless of what nation that the, 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 the elect of God, the Christians find themselves that the Lord will preserve them, that the Lord will protect them, that the Lord will provide for them, that they, they, uh, until, until they see him face to face, that none should be lacking. The Lord Jesus Christ has prayed, and we're just joining our prayer to his. He says, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from the evil, from the evil one. Father, we're asking, O oh God, that your hand of power will be upon your chosen, that your hand of power will be upon your people, that your hand of power will be upon the elect anywhere in the world, everywhere in the world. Father, O oh God, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in, e in the Far East, in the Near East, in North America, in South America, in deep down South, Australia, or New Zealand, everywhere in the world. Father, we're asking, O oh God, raise up your people, protect your people, provide for your people, and prepare your people to meet you face to face in the name of Jesus Christ. And do a great thing through this crusade in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen.